Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about cognitive processes in psychology unit 3 for BSc nursing students. So, this is my part 3B video that is part 1 video deals with attention, part 2A and B video deals with perception and part 3A video deals with learning, nature of learning and types of learning and part 3B video deals with factors affecting learning. This video is useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students as well as students who are studying general psychology and B.Ed. Before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates let's move on to the topic the contents what we are going to discuss in this part 3b video is factors influencing learning or factors affecting learning for viewers, I like to tell that we have posted separate playlists for psychology. The link has been given in description box where we have posted unit 1 completely, unit 2 completely and unit 3 is in process. Let's move on to the topic factors influencing learning. Learning is a continuous process which results in what? change in our behavior so it is a continuous process day by day we are learning and our behavior is going to get influenced by means of our learning practices the learning process is centered on three main elements what are those elements the learner the learner is the main element because by means of learning only his behavior is going to get changed or modified next is the type of learning experiences or training required for modification of learner's behavior okay for example a learner is a nursing student okay only he has to acquire nursing okay so the learning experience what type of experience uh, college experiences theory experiences practical experience everything you are giving no in order to modify the learning behavior so that is called as the type of experience then the men and material okay time money material okay personal who are needed in order to produce the desired experiences and training for example even if you want to learn nursing student is ready okay then uh, curriculum is ready but uh, the facilities the college uh, as well as the teachers uh, the resources uh, the um, articles equipments uh, for practice everything should be ready in order to bring about the desired change so in factors influencing learning three main elements are important what are they learner type of experiences are training the main and material let's see these three factors in detail so what are all the things comes under factors associated with learner so under this learners physical health learners mental health basic potential of the learner the level of motivation goals of life maturation age emotions sex so what are the factors associated with that of learner learners physical health mental health potentiality of the learner level of motivation goals of life maturation age emotions and sex i am not explaining in detail now just i am listing out so after this i will be explaining each and every point next factors associated with the type of learning experiences under this uh, nature of learning experiences what the learner is getting nature of learning experiences methodology of learning what teaching methods they are using meaningfulness of material the material should be meaningful otherwise learning will not be taking place amount or length of the material so nature of learning experiences methodology of learning meaningfulness of material amount or length of the material that is uh, this amount or length of the material leads to duration time of the uh, learning next factors associated with men and material that is resources quality of teaching availability of appropriate learning materials and facilities then availability of conducive environment so first thing is what quality of teaching second one is availability of appropriate learning materials and facilities third one is availability of conducive environment so these three things are very very important what are they quality of teaching availability of appropriate learning materials and facilities availability of conducive environment 
let's see one by one in detail so first thing what i have told factors associated with learner so under this learners physical health so health is very very important without health you cannot achieve anything so first your physical health should be very very important if you are healthy only effective learning will be taking place suppose if you are going to be ill fever you may not be able to concentrate suppose if you are going to have some sensory deficits like a hearing problem or visual problem like the tunnel you may not be able to Mm, learn the things malnutrition if your nutritional status is very 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 poor under nutrition again your growth and development will be impaired and proper uh, health will not be maintained therefore learning will not be effective loss of sleep so lack of sleep results in poor learning so suppose the previous day night if you have not at all uh, slept the next day class whether you will be able to listen to the class whether you will be able to learn new things so you should have a proper sleep routine otherwise learning will be difficult fatigue fatigue means tiredness if you are too tired also learning will not take place or some of the physical handicaps which interfere with your learning so the learner should have sound health for learning if she is physically fit that's why i know sometimes before joining into the course also we will be asking medical certificate whether the candidate is medically fit or not next is learners mental health so uh, in par with physical health mental health is also equally important experiments have shown that worries fears persistent daydreams that is daydreaming uh, living in a world of fantasy physically they will be listening to the class uh, but uh, mentally they will be thinking of something so that is daydreaming feelings of loneliness and inferiority will be affecting your learning so experiments have shown that your worries fear anger emotional instability persistent day daydreaming feeling of loneliness and inferiority affect your learning if the learner has no self confidence or self reliance if he is not believing in his own self if the learner is not having self respect okay due to the attitudes of teachers or others it is very difficult for him or her to come up in life and to learn okay so your self confidence your self reliance and self respect is more important for the effective learning to take place hence the necessity the learner needs to build your self confidence self respect and self reliance through praise and approval suppose if the teachers if the teacher suppose if the assignments say if the student is doing very nicely means you have to appreciate you have to give some positive reinforcement encouragement a word of appreciation if you are not giving appreciation again, again that leads to what uh, whatever we are doing the teacher is not appreciating so better not to do like that it leads to negativity so always uh, have the thing to appreciate when others have done some work nicely you should be in a position to appreciate it next is basic potential of the learner learner's inner abilities innate abilities inborn abilities uh, so the intelligence level uh, the observation capacity the knowledge uh, the creative thinking level special abilities uh, skills uh, understanding skills everything uh, um, is very important for the learning to take place as well as the learner's interest uh, aptitude uh, attitude level positive attitude everything okay knowledge level intelligence level aptitude level interest everything is going to determine the learning process suppose if the learner is very much interested in a psychology class definitely he will listen and properly and he will learn properly like that next is level of motivation the stronger and clearer the motive in learning anything the greater is the effort okay if you are strongly motivated okay um if you are motivated that you have to get very good marks you have to score distinction means definitely you will work hard and you will um, you will uh, work hard and you will put more your effort suppose if you are not having any motivation in life or motivation means you will not uh, learn anything okay so level of motivation is very very important goals of life everyone should have a goal or aim in order to achieve in life then only you will be motivated and you will have the hunger to learn okay next is readiness and will power a learner's readiness and will power to learn is a great deciding factor for his results in learning so if you are ready if you are ready and if you are having a strong will power suppose many physically handicapped and all know they have studied hard and they are in good positions now 
so physically handicaps also if you are having a good will power and if you are ready to learn they have achieved a lot even in olympics and even in academics and um, because of the strong will power and readiness it's not only applicable to physical handicaps even the normal individuals also who are physically active for them also readiness to learn as well as will power should be there for effective learning to take place maturation so learning and maturation goes hand in hand okay as you are maturing you will be learning many things for example a child immediately after birth it will not walk no so there will be some time one year like that for it to walk similarly there will be some time for it to talk like that so based on the growth and development and maturation process the level of learning will be varying age age is also an a very important factor because um, as age advances the learning also will be advancing and at a particular stage in old age and all the learning process will be declining because they are physically weak their memory everything is uh, going down so that time because of uh, poor recent memory everything so old memories and all they will have in mind but recent immediate thing what they have uh, uh done they will forget okay so that uh, because of the declining and all know what uh, uh, the person will be having in old age learning will be come difficult but learning will be from birth to till 20 years of age no that's why all our schooling and all will be completing in this uh, age period schooling college everything our academics will be completing by the year of 20 years that too in the initial first two years of life much of how much your brain gets stimulated as per psychology the person will be learning more more things in your first two years of life and then it may extend up to five years of life also your brain development because your brain development how much you are exposed to new new stimulus will be stimulating your brain okay so learning will be uh, continuous but uh, the learning will be very much effective uh, till age 20 years and after 50 years it will be slowly declining okay emotions so your emotions is very 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 important so it has both positive effect and negative effect on learning so for for learning to take place only a moderate level of stress you should have if you have a moderate level of stress learning will be effective okay but if you are having too much of stress again you may not be able to complete the task for example examination is there tomorrow means so you should have some amount of fear and anxiety towards that examination some stress you should have with regard to that examination so that uh, you will be motivated and you will be learning nicely and you will be writing the exam nicely to score more marks suppose if it, if you are feeling that examination is too much stressful again you may not be able to study well and you may not be able to perform well so you will not learn anything so uh, uh, certain level of stress is very very that is moderate level of stress is very very important okay next is sex although no sex is superior to the other based on your sexual differences also for example uh, females will be more uh, interested to learn about new new things with regard to people while men are more uh, interested in learning object oriented for example females they will be learning about uh, uh, puranas uh, then uh, novels uh, then um, uh, different characters uh, epic characters uh, they are interested in learning a uh, new new kitchen gadgets uh, sarees like that and all but um, when you are uh, seeing a um, male they will be more object oriented so they will be interested to learn what are all the new things happening uh, like a uh, cars mobiles computers like that and all they will have interest so depending on this also the learning will be differing okay factors associated with type of learning experiences so till now what we have studied we have studied with regard to factors associated with learning next we are studying with associated to factors associated with type of learning experiences under that we are having nature of learning experiences so learning is influenced by the nature of the subject matter and the learning experiences presented to the learner such as formal and informal learning formal learning means a college a particular program you are studying means it is a formal education informal 
education so day by day we are uh, uh, seeing so many things uh, where you will be in an informal setup and you will be learning some things now so that is an informal education so it can be a formal setup or informal setup incidental incidental suddenly uh, it's not a planned suddenly you on the spot you are learning some new thing that is incidental then well planned means already it was planned such a such a day such a class is going to on this topic we are going to take okay direct or indirect it can be direct to direct contact or indirect uh, method of teaching uh, learning experiences okay so methodology of learning methodology of learning means you have so many teaching methods to learn or teaching approaches to learn some of these techniques are linking the recent learning with that of the past for example recently corona they are telling no so this corona they are uh, linking with the past experiences with related to uh, scars that is severe acute respiratory distress syndrome so corona is also a type of severe acute respiratory distress syndrome correlating learning in one area with that of other suppose in psychology you are learning one aspect means in nursing foundation when you are taking care of the patient the psychological factor this Uh, thing the fear anxiety anger emotions everything you are relating there okay next utilization of maximum number of senses so senses we know we have a, a like a hearing vision a touch a tactile like that a, a senses a five senses uh, so you are uh, this will be helpful uh, how much ever suppose uh, audio visual that's why we are telling audio visual which includes uh, both auditory training as well as visual training uh, or learning will be taking place so how much ever possible you have to use the maximum number of senses revision revision is very 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 important thing that we are taking classes we are not keeping any test for you means then uh, it is of no use unless and until we are telling a test then only you will be opening your book and you will be learning so revision is very very important and practice repeated practice is also very very important then provision of proper feedback and reinforcement so when you have performed the test or when you have answered well then you have you, you should be given a positive reinforcement as well as feedback about the thing what you have learnt next is meaningfulness of material so whatever you are learning the learning uh, the, it should have some meaning suppose if uh, the content is not clear if it is vague or unclear then uh, learning will not be faster next is amount or length of material so learning is influenced considerably by the amount and length of the material to be learned in general so more the amount means you require more time to learn for example so nursing you are learning in 4 years and similarly medicine you are learning in 5 years um, so five all together it comes under 5 and 1/2 years like that and all no why because uh, so much you have to learn so depending on the amount of the learning material uh, the time also will be extended next is factors associated with men and material so men and material is also very very important quality of teaching so quality is very very important it's not that i have completed one unit in one day it's not like that quality of the material okay the teacher who is teaching she should uh, take it in such a way so that the learner will have interest in learning uh, availability of appropriate learning material and facility so here comes your uh, uh, teachers A V H okay audio visualize so now we are using projectors uh, then L C D projector smart TVs or Android TVs uh, and uh, email internet uh, connections uh, and uh, slide projectors uh, charts A V H flash cards flip card flip charts uh, so many things are there bulletin boards like that so you can use so many uh, this learning teaching audio visual aids text books library and lab facilities projects works etc then availability of conducive environment so everything is there you should have a proper setup okay so the building uh, the arrangement the seating arrangement uh, then uh, your environment should be properly ventilated with adequate aeration lighting peaceful environment there should not be any distraction cooperation deep and competitive group situation then uh, congenial learning at home even at home environment also that environment should be uh, pakka so that learning can takes place then provision of opportunity for creativity and self expression so sometimes uh, that's why we are giving some uh, assignments also in order to do on your own so that you can express your creativity uh, etc and self expression etc 
okay so, so hope this video has given a detailed explanation about factors affecting learning thanks for watching if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel as i have told earlier my previous videos link as well as psychology playlist link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card if you have not watched those videos feel free to watch it and post your doubts in comment section Thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel